I told you it wasn't going to be cute. You know, I told I mean, you it wasn't going to be cute. If you weren't trying to bite him, it would be pretty cute. <laughs> no, that's like, no. Mike, what is this? <laughs> you know, well, he bit you, yeah, right? Whenever you took him out he, of it? He didn't hurt, though. Yeah, you know, the zoo's a pretty wild place. But, you know, uh, <laughs> Indeed. You know in addition to the, uh, the, you know, the critters that we have at the zoo that's in our enclosures for exhibits, uh, we also have a great habitat out there for, for animals. And this is an animal actually found wandered around through one of our buildings out there. Oh. Really? Yeah. They're, uh, they're native to the area. This is called a Great Plains skink. And I figured I'd, I'd bring him in today and then take him back up to the zoo and release him today so he can go about his, doing his little skink oh. business. Oh, he's but, a rescue. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> this, this is a lizard Ooh. that's found here in the panhandle. They actually get, yeah, get pretty good size. They get about eight inches long. So they're, it's a big lizard. Uh, when they're first born, the, they're jet black with a bright blue tail. Really? As oh, they get pretty. older, they get kind of golder, you know, gold kind of a, a model Ooh. pattern. Uh. Um, <laughs> and they, when they when they move, and I, I won't let them move <laughs> because Thank they're kind of quick. But they have a real <laughs> fluid motion when they move. So a lot of folks, when they see them on the ground around, they're like the foundation of their mm -hmm. house. Uh -huh. They think snake. Sure. Just because of that, oh, they yeah. have that kind of snake-like movement. But uh, they're pretty common around here. They're pretty secretive. So if you're out moving the uh, lumber or if you have uh, some rocks in your yard, rock pile, or even doing some gardening, you may come across these. They're pretty common oh down my. here. Now what is this hole in the side of his head? Can you turn him so everybody s There's like a hole, uh, maybe. There we go. Ah. <laughs> Ear openings. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, he has a uh, little, they don't have the big floppy things on the side of the head like oh, us, okay. you know, but they have little, uh, little uh, openings on their heads that they sure. can actually hear sounds. He's just not happy about He's this. He's really what, is, no, what do they eat? Just insects? Insects. They'll eat uh, crickets and stuff like that. And, you know, they, when they when they bite, they don't have teeth. So they have it's more like a little vice grip. They have like a little pinch. Yeah, you know, Mike said, you can put your finger up. He'll bite you. Oh, it, thank you. Sure. Oh. Oh. Ah. And when, they, when they do get, uh, if they do get captured by a predator. You know, hold on to him. <laughs> He's wiggling away a little bit. Uh, Come don't on. hold on to me. <laughs> they, got, they got this great ability to release their tail too. So if a, if a oh, comes up that and, is creepy. and uh, gets too close, they can uh, detach their tail from their body. So the the predator's kind of uh, focused on the tail right. and allows the body to, to slip away. Now that's not the only kind of lizard that does that, right? Oh, oh he hit you again! Ow! Oh, <laughs> doesn't that hurt? Uh, actually, it had teeth. It probably hurt a lot more. But uh, without <gasps> teeth, it kind of feels like a little. Okay. Good <laughs> okay. We are the uh, biggest chickens ever. I mean, look at and him. You're supposed he to be the brave one. to bite us. Well, yeah, he he kind of figures he's going to get gobbled up for dinner right now, so oh. he's kind of thinking that we're going to eat him. But uh, like I guess I'll take him back up the zoo, and I'll, I'll let him uh, let him go back where I found him, and oh, he'll, he'll put go him back in a business. cage because then he'll multiply. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what is he doing? I don't want to see that. <laughs> I'm not sure. He's open. Oh mouth. no. <laughs> well, you also have a lot of events at the zoo. It's a lot of summer things yep. and activities. Yep. A whole bunch of stuff. Open and it's perfect time to go out there. We're open seven days a week, and yeah, go to go to the zoo's website, emeraldzoo.org. You can see all our special events we have this uh, this summer. We have a. Uh, if I drew the zoo in a few weeks and uh, red, white, and blue, and so all kinds of fun things for family to come out and see. Awesome. Well, I thank you for scaring us. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'll be right back. Can I let him bite my cord? He's. <laughs>